Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Mountain and Nostalgic Runner. And we are back for um, actually a combination of two different things. This is Ready to Go Outside series slash um, Get Fit With Me presents accountability. Um, mainly on the accountability part and motivation. So hopefully this video ends up motivating you based upon my life updates. So, um, what I'm going to be doing today though, as far as the get ready with me portion is we're going to straighten this hair so that it's presented. Well, I mean, it looks good. Actually, the way it looks right now, I almost want to wash and go with the way it looks right here. Cause I love how it looks quite as it's kept, but I want it to be manageable for the whole weekend. So I think I am going to straighten it. Um, <laughs> cause I haven't straightened it in a while since the uh, last time I had my hair done. So I think it's overdue for that. And also too, might be having to trim some split ends, possibly. And then we're gonna do the whole usual makeup, non-makeup look. Um, but before I get into it, I do wanna share, and then real quick, I have my leave-in conditioner I'm using, and this stuff smells good. And man, I begin to compliment about how I smell so good. This is what I use. It has um, pomegranate and honey in it, and it does my hair some good. And I just got done washing my hair. So that's why my hair also is looking the way it's looking. But yeah, I can tell when I'm filling my ends, I'm probably going to need to trim them. I'm a little disappointed that that's what the reality is. But that's definitely what probably will need to happen. Because, yeah, it's feeling brittle on the ends. So we'll see what happens, though. But I'm going to, real quick, I just want to put in the leave-in conditioner all over you know, get all that together. Oh, by the way, what I am wearing, um, a little Chung Lee inspired thing, you know, a little Chung Lee inspired. And because I am trying to <laughs> handle the weight a little bit right now, one day at a time, um, cause I am trying to get back to my weight, my running weight. Um, I am a little bit on the thicker side, but you know, the thickness does the body good. Like I look all right. And I know that. So, um, that's one of the things that's been going on and okay, let's get the elephant out of the room. So I haven't really been doing much this week other than working and working out and not being very social. Um, it's not a depression. Not quite. Um, I actually got some news this past Monday <laughs> that I was not ready for work-wise. Um, so, and I'm taking it as a blessing. Um, before I go into what the news is, I'm definitely taking it as a blessing. I'm taking it as, okay, Sharon, it's time for you to get back to how you were in your 20s. Hungry, motivated, making something out of nothing, and also being that girl. And um, for those who know me and know what I do, like outside of this, <laughs> y'all know I have been struggling with my current role um, with, within where I work at for some time. I've been really, really good at it. But I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll just keep it real. I don't like it. When people ask, do I like what I do? The answer was always like, I'm good at it. And it was always a case of, you know, sorry, I'm trying. I'm not going to get emotional because I've gotten emotional multiple times this week. Um, it's always been the case of I'm good at it. And I like how it pays. <laughs> it was never, uh, I like, I love my job or I like what I do. Um, I would say I've only really, when it comes to like me getting paid decently, um, the last job I had before the job I have right now, if you would ask me that question, it was definitely, I love my job. I love what I do. And, um, I loved everything about it. Now you're asking, you're probably asking yourself, then why did you leave that role? Well, I felt like I was at a point where I wasn't learning anything new. 
Um, I was a little bit, but it was very niche learning something new, something that I couldn't really take with me outside of my company, which this, what I'm saying right here, is crucial because based on of what happened. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's that. So, okay. I'm just gonna let it out. I'm just gonna say what happened and <laughs> call it good. I still work for the company, but I'm on borrowed time. Um, I got the news on Monday that my role and what I do is going to be eliminated, AKA I'm being job eliminated. So I have until April 5th to do my current role. And then after that, I'm no longer with my company. And I feel a way about it mainly because how it was delivered. I'm not going to get into that because I still work for the company. So we're not going to go into that until, you know, the dust is settled and whatnot. And I'm still not going to name the company. That's one thing we're not going to do. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so after April 5th, I'm a free woman when it comes to working. <laughs> Basically, yeah, so I'm going to be unemployed. Long story, less long. Um, now, this sounds like very sad, depressing news, but if you guys have figured it out, I've been with my company for a super long time. And also, too, I was not entry level and I wasn't high, high up. I was doing all right for myself. Let's just put it that way. So therefore, I'm being taken care of. I'll be, I will be taken care of for some time. I'm not going to get into all that, but businesses is going to feel like business as usual for me when it comes to um, living my life. <laughs> you know, so I I'm not panicking when it comes to that, um, and I have like a, a decent timeline of how long that's going to be. So that actually frees me up to have more options. So that's how I'm receiving the news and that's how I'm taking it as, um, because I know, I know the, I know the inner workings. I'm not going to get into that because again, that's a little too much into my personal business, but I did want to mention, um, that, <laughs> The company that I've been like, yeah, about it's not a thing anymore, um, which is weird because millennials and I'm a millennial. This is not normal for millennials. Normally, we're the people, you know, when they do the whole when they do the whole like millennial this, millennial that. We don't stick around in companies for a long time. I was the exception to that rule. I stayed with my company forever. Um, so I have like a decent years of service because of that. So that's, man, that in a way is a blessing in disguise. My loyalty was a blessing in disguise. Um, now the other thing with it is it was, a, it, you know, other people weren't so lucky. I'm still working until that day. A lot of the people who got this news, they're gone. Like, it was literally, it was given Thanos when it came to my company on Monday. It was like, Whoa. and on Tuesday, it was like, like the others are like, I feel like everyone else that doesn't have my in-between news is like Iron Man and like <laughs> um, Captain America you know, all those people who are still there and just like, what the, what just happened? And I'm Ant-Man in this. <laughs> I'm just like in the quantum. I, I didn't know any of this was happening because I was too busy doing weird Ant-Man stuff. So I'm like, at, I feel like I'm Ant-Man in this because I do have an opportunity where this may not be, this news may not be true. Like I can find another job within my company and keep it pushing. And then none of this was all what I said to us for nothing. 
And I, of course, when I initially got that news, I didn't feel that way. I was, <laughs> I was not good. Um, I actually had a really decent run that day because I was, you know, in my feelings, freaking out, all the above. Um, but that's how I am receiving it currently. And then I also have other news, like what I could do. Because I've been with my company for so long and I have worked with other companies as partners, being being in the type of role I've been in for so long, I have people I could reach out to and maybe find something. So I'm not freaking out about that. And also too, let's keep it real. I have youth on my side, you know, so we're good. And <laughs> so I guess that's the other thing. So I'm not really freaked out when it comes to that, but it's just one of those things where it's just like, you never know when that time's gonna come it's definitely like a case of you can get humbled in life at any moment and it can either break you or you could be like okay fine let's shift it let's shift into gears and figure things out so and from my standpoint i feel like i have options i don't feel freaked out. I feel like I have options. Um, I don't, I don't know if others feel that way, but I do when it comes to my situation and I've done research. I've been just, you know, grinding, grinding, grinding on things I could do to make things work for me and what I got going on. And I'm going to be all right. I'm not freaking out about it. It's not those things. And also the other thing that I have in back of my head when it comes to all this is that one thing that I feel like I've been needing forever, and I've been saying it, and God, the universe, wherever you believe in, has a funny way of ask, like, be careful what you wish for, you're going to get it, but not the way you expect it. I've been needing a much needed time off from my brain, constantly being overworked and multitasking. I've been needing that for years now. I've been grinding, 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 overworking, overworking, burning out Phoenix, burning out Phoenix, burning out Phoenix. And child, eventually I felt like I was going to turn into the dark Phoenix and just destroy the world. That is how, that's what it was giving for me. Yes, I'm giving a lot of Marvel <laughs> references to what's going on. But that's what it is for me. And that's how I am. I'm a little nerdy. Y'all know that. But anyway, so because of that, I've already decided if, and I've been, you know, doing things I need to do in order to make sure, hey, maybe I'm going to stay with a company. Maybe I'm not. But if I don't stay with the company, I'm taking two months off. I already know when my regular pay ends and then the other thing's going to start. I've already done my research when it comes to like health insurance of it all and all that good stuff. I'm taking two months off. I'm going to really get to finally focus on my fitness and my health and wellness. Something that I've been neglect. I feel like I've been neglecting because of my current role. I've been so stressed. My weight has been fluctuating more than ever. And frankly, that's not adding to my happiness. So we're going to, we're going to fix that. And then I feel like whenever I do come back into doing my whatever role I end up doing, I'm going to be refreshed. I'm going to be stronger, both physically, mentally, spiritually, all the above. And frankly, ready to kick, kick some ass. Yeah. So that's how I'm viewing it. I'm not sad. I'm actually... It was weird how I felt. I went through a lot of emotions with it. I had a weird sense of relief because of what I just said right there about being overworked and all that. And you just don't know. Like, and it's weird because I've just had so many signs that the, uni that the universe was telling me that this was going to happen. Um, the day before, I was literally just listening to a podcast for talking about Candy's exit from Real Housewives of Atlanta. And you never want to wait until the show is over to leave. You want to leave on a high note. And to me, I'm still leaving on a high note. Um, yeah, 
they're making, they're eliminating my role, but I myself am still leaving in a high note because my spirit, <sighs> sorry, the career, it's harder to break my spirit, guys, than what you think. This girl over here is resilient. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I kind of wanted to share that little tidbit. And hopefully whoever's going through a similar situation, because I know there's a lot of people in the country that are going through this situation because it is definitely a nationwide thing. I'm sure it's even a worldwide thing because I know a lot of this is the aftermath of the 2020s. You know, you got to pay to play. And in this life, that's what it is at times. You know, those who did, who were doing all right during those times, aka I was doing okay, it's my turn now. And that's how world, that's how life works. Now, what are you going to do about it when it's your turn? That's on you. Anyway, that is what happened. And that's my message. But Okay, let's get into let's get into something lighter and get into the ready to go outside. I got everything plugged in. I need to blow dry the hair, straighten it, and then we're going to do the makeup and get out the door. So I am going to turn off this mic and we're just going to do what we need to do. Okay? Okay. All right, so we're back. Um, so you saw I did just finish up with um, blow drying my hair. <laughs> uh, there's a lot. Oh man, one thing I will say about the news, I'm hoping I could just get feel and get back to the way I was before, where I was a lot more healthier. Um, that's kind of the goal. So I'm thinking the time off that I'm going to have is going to do me some good. Also, let's not get twisted. Um, I am, I do have intentions. I have ideas of what I'm trying to do next. I don't want to share it yet because again, not everyone wants the best for you. So always try to just move in silence on the next moves. But as far as, you know, where we're at today, it's interesting and we're going to just try our best. That's all we can do is try our best. And that's where I'm at with it. It's like, you know what? I don't like what happened. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know? Can't be too upset about it. Oh, yeah, we're going to trim. <laughs> You saw my hair has gotten longer, but child, the way it gets longer, a lot of times it's like, yeah, it's gotten longer, but is it healthy? The answer be a lot of times, no. So we're going to do some trimming. Oh, yeah. You see this? Realistically, I probably should cut it all the way to here, but I'm not going to do that because I'm a wimp. 
So we're going to at least get some of it off, though. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit better. <sighs> oh, and those who are hair experts, you know I'm not a hair expert. I just do the best I can. I, you know... And I always try to tell people, anyone who wants to follow my looks or styles, I am by no means a hair expert. I did not go to this comp I did not go to hair school at all. I was gonna try to say cosmetology and it didn't come out right, so I said hair school instead, child. But yeah, so this is what I'm doing next here. I'm just gonna get some of the split ends off. I really probably am overdue by actually going to get my hair like professionally trimmed. I know I'm over overdue for it. I just we'll see. A lot of what's going on today with me is a case of a we'll see. So I guess also silver lining because I was planning on doing something in April and now I have no restrictions of doing that. <laughs> so that's I guess the other news I'm thinking about too. Um, yeah, and I know that's wild to think that way. And I think all the people I talked to about it because only people I've talked to about it are like other coworkers, of course. Um, and they're just like, how are you taking things? I'm just like, uh, surprisingly well. I, <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but I'm taking it well. I'm taking it pretty much with stride, like completely in stride. And I don't really know what that means. And also, too, I just feel like I've just been so stressed out lately with this role that I'm not going to lie. I kind of welcome the change and I, those who don't know, I actually tried to make a change a couple years ago and <laughs> I just, you know, I, get, I decided to thug it out and stay longer. So, but hey, maybe the timing wasn't the timing and that's okay. I'm okay with timing not being timing. Oh yeah. Child, I really need to do something with this hair. It's, um, and also too, you know what I might do soon? And I'm looking at my hair. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I think I need to do it. I think I'm going to get my, I think I'm going to cut my hair. I think it's time. For those who don't know, I used to have really, 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 and I mean really, really short hair and grew it out. And part of me is thinking, and when I had that, when I had my hair short like that, I was, the energy was matching. <laughs> I was um, in the best way possible. Like, I think I'm overdue for some changes again. And this might be a case of that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to hold you. So... I'm also thinking of that too, but, oh, the other reason why I want to talk to you guys though is I want to share a mantra that I have, and I think you can remix it if you're not necessarily, if, you, if you're someone who doesn't believe in God. Um, I do believe in God and the higher power, so I'm going to keep it the way it is, but the mantra that has been my mantra for my whole entire life, ever since I was like maybe like in fourth grade, um, because I actually had it in song when I was in the choir, and I even had it, you know, besides in song, I also had it, and um, it was also my confirmation verse when I was still actively attending church. Um, but Romans 8.28 is my life mantra. So for those who know what that verse is, you already know this is why your girl don't stay discouraged too long. Um, you know, I have my moments where I'm down on myself and I'm out. And yeah, I mean, I have, I do have bouts of depression here and there. Um, 
seasonal depressions are worse. And child, the news of this with the seasonal depression <laughs> makes it interesting. But I saw the sun today. I saw the sun yesterday. So it's gotten better. But anyway, Romans 8.28 is all things work out good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. And that has been my mantra. Literally, ever since I've known it. And it's one of the only Bible verses I still have memorized. Because <laughs> um, I don't have John 3.16 um, memorized anymore. I used to. But it's not even, but that verse was never something that called to me like that. All things work out good to those who love the Lord, to those who are called according to his purpose. Yeah. I mean, if that's not a glass half full, glass half, like, glass half full message of messages, this is why I don't stay down for too long, ever. And... This is why I keep that mantra. I keep that energy. Like, you know what? It's okay. We have a little bit of a sidestep. But we're going to fix it. But I kind of just wanted to share that also. Um, but yeah, we're going to speed this along. And I'll be back. Because, child, it's taking me forever to do this hair. And I, I mean, we need to get to the makeup soon, right? Right. Child, the way my hair is almost done. Um, so I my hair is no longer even, side so note. <laughs> Just in case y'all didn't know that, it ain't even at all. But I have gotten some of the split ends. We're gonna get the rest of them over here. So we just got one more section. And then from there, we're finally gonna do the makeup. The makeup, I'm not gonna do what I was originally planning on doing, which is why I'm like, let's get back on the video. Um, because <laughs> it's taking me longer than I thought to do my hair and your girls are getting hungry. So I'm about to go out to dinner and unwind because child, based off the news, y'all know I need to do it. <laughs> I need to leave the house. So anyway, we're going to finish it up real quick and then we should be good to go.
Hi, so that does actually conclude the first part of the video. Yeah, I put my hair up, so it's done. It looks good. This is what I was going for. And um, anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye.